Hey guys, so we're back with fixing the rust repair. So the passenger side, as you know, is already all welded up. So today we're actually going to be using body filler to fill it all up. So I'm going to be using some Bondo glass and some Bondo um, regular normal body filler and some glazing putty, I guess. So this is I'm just going to go through the whole process of sanding all that bare metal area down and then putting on the Bondo today. So let's get to work. So guys, this is the stuff I'm going to be using to, to work with. So I picked up a whole bunch of this stuff from either Amazon or Walmart or Canadian Tire. Um, basically, yeah, this is an orbital sander I got from Amazon. It, it comes with a whole bunch of uh, sanding discs and stuff. So I'm going to be using this to sand down a, the metal area. I uh, got the, the spreader and here's the filler and some more sanding discs for when I do sand down the whole car. Um, Obviously, you know, you got to wear a respirator and to actually spread this stuff I'm not going to be doing how most people are putting it on a piece of cardboard You're not supposed to put it on anything absorbent because the hardener and all that stuff could get absorbed into the cardboard So what I'm going to be doing is actually using a clipboard and some parchment paper So parchment paper as in for baking uh, Those are usually a silicone paper and it has no wax in it so it would it would stick on there It wouldn't stick on there. It'll be easy to kind of spread and won't be absorbent so we're going to be using that for the body filler. Um, so I'm just going to get right to it and start you know, setting this up so that we can start sanding. So I'm going to start off by removing some of the paint around the areas I'm going to body fill and also sand down the bare metal with 80 grit so the body filler will have something to bite onto. I'm switching over to hand sanding in those areas where the orbital sander didn't hit. Time to blow all the sanding dust off with compressed air. Now I'll wipe down of the panel with some isopropyl alcohol. Another quick session with some compressed air. Now it's time to mix the Bondo glass. This is a waterproof filler that has short strands of fiberglass in it. Some of the liquid and the filler had separated. I needed to mix the can up well before scooping what I need. You can see I'm using my Teflon paper and a clipboard. Scooping out what I need. I have to knead the hardener to make sure that it is thoroughly mixed before squeezing out what I need. A golf ball size of filler uses about 1.5 inch of hardener. Now to mix this, you scoop and fold the filler and hardener over itself until the color is uniform. After it's mixed, you have about 4-5 to five minutes to work with it. Now it's time to apply it to the panel. This filler will seal up all those little holes left from the welding and provide a waterproof seal.
Now it's time to wait for it to harden before sanding and removing the excess. Here's what it looks like after it's partially cured. Now before it fully hardens, I'm going to use a Stanley Sureform to cheese grate off the excess. After cheese grating, let it fully cure before sanding. Now sand with 80 grit with a sanding block to blend it to the surface. Don't worry about the low spots, we'll be filling those in with regular body filler. Now it's time to mix up your regular body filler, just like how you mixed up the bundle glass. Scooping off what's stuck on the lid. Mix it up just like the bundle glass. Scoop out what I need. Need the hardener. Squeeze out what I need for the hardener. Now mix until uniform. Now it's time to apply the body filler. Before applying the body filler, I did blow the panel off with compressed air and cleaned it again with isopropyl alcohol. Now again, wait for it to semi-harden before cheese grating. Time to cheese grate again. Now I'm sanding the bulk of the filler with some 40 grit and moving up to 80 grit. Now it's time to use some glazing putty to fill in any small imperfections and sand that with 400 grit once it's dry. Here's the completed panel all sanded and smooth. Alright guys, so that's basically it. The passenger side is ready for epoxy primer now. I've actually gone ahead and rotated the car so I could um, work on the driver's side now. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what the driver's side looks like. Um, but it's onto the driver's side. So rust repair all over again. So there's one of the spots that I've kind of wire wheeled a little bit. And it's not too bad, but I'll have to weld that piece up. And here is the rocker side. Driver side is not so bad. Inside is actually rusty too, but you know, we'll repeat the same process and 
and fix it up just like we fixed up the passenger side. All right guys, so basically the next step is just to work on the driver's side, so stay tuned for those videos. So if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, and again guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.